third also. The right auricle and right ventricle also separated by one septum. That is known as a right auriculo very pronounce it right auriculo ventricular septum. And then right auriculo ventricular septum. And left side of the chambers also separated by one septum. This is known as a left auriculo ventricular septum. Left auriculo ventricular septum. Ventricular septum. Ventricular septum. Septum. Are you understand up to here? Yes, sir. And also. The right auriculoventricular septum has one, one uh, passage or one uh, upper chest. Okay, chinna dari. Blood vella like that? So, all of blood vella down in the upper chest is a hole in the day. Here are the second person. This is known as a right auriculoventricular upper chest. Right. Left 
so from the body we got them for understanding we could easy ga undadam kosam ardham avadam kosam ichu cheptunna ardham ayinda so so there there are there, there are two types of blood vessels or veins are coming from the body to right side of the heart or right auricle that two are known as a one is superior superior vena cava or in a precaval vein this also known as a precaval vein and another one is a post caval vein or a inferior vena cava okay next it is on aperture and from it also on aperture which can lead that uh, so now blood comes from the body to the superior vena cava or precaval vein can collect blood from the lower parts of the body it means legs our toes likewise and uh, inferior this is uh, inferior vena cava sorry inferior vena cava can collect uh, blood from the lower parts of our body the superior vena cava will collect blood from the upper parts of our body like a head neck to like by shoulders likewise okay so both together and lead into the will lead into the right atrium or right auricle and then this blood is deoxygenated blood d oxygenated oxygenated blood blood and this is koi other no also known as a unpurified blood okay so this comes into the right auricle and then it moves towards the left uh, sorry right ventricle and then from the left right ventricle one uh, vessel blood vessel will come it will uh, move towards the lungs this blood vessel is known as a pulmonary artery pulmonary artery artery pulmonary artery this most important important one that means all the arteries of our body can carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery except pulmonary artery pulmonary artery can carry only deoxygenated blood so from from the right ventricle to lungs lungs from lungs okay it lead into the lungs for the oxygenation oxygenation okay so now the blood moves towards lungs and gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs it means oxygen will penetrate into the for blood carbon dioxide leaving to the alveoli of alveoli of the lungs now from the lungs to left auricle there is an another blood vessel that is coming from the lungs to left auricle this is known as a pulmonary pulmonary vein very important pulmonary vein ha pulmonary vein in our body we have veins all the veins of our body can collect deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary vein it can carry oxygenated blood very important oxygenated blood are you understand so and a purified blood manch rakam adhu ayinda oxygenated blood anedi ikkada gelin tarvata deoxygenated blood unpurified blood anedi oxygen kalisi oxygenation jarigi manaku adi oxygenated blood ga mari tirigi left side ki vastundi manu anduke cheptunnam left side anta kuda purified blood 
one is present that one is known as a semi lunar one semi lunar one semi lunar one semi lunar one and the right auricle to right ventricle there is an aperture there is one passage it also have an a one that valve is known as a tricuspid valve tricuspid valve i understand yes sir so there is a one valve and here also right side of the atrium and ventricle it have it also have one valve that is tricuspid valve the importance of the valve is to prevent the back flow of the blood it means the blood comes into the right artery it cannot it cannot moves back it can stop the valve can stop the back flow of the blood okay when it also it cannot allow the back flow of the blood from right ventricle to right artery right artery that is a right cuspid valve next one the pulmonary uh, sorry right ventricle to pulmonary artery starts from the right ventricle here also one valve is there that valve is known as a pulmonary pulmonary valve pulmonary valve pulmonary is lungs easy ga gurtu pettko lungs ki velthundi ga pulmonary artery and so it has a valve that's a pulmonary valve and uh, from the lungs to heart the pulmonary veins from the lungs to heart of the left auricle here also one valve is there that is also known as a pulmonary valve pulmonary valve valve okay so from left auricle to left ventricle there are there is also one valve that is called that is known as a bicuspid valve bicuspid valve or mitral valve mitral valve okay are you understand yes sir now left ventricle to and another blood vessel start from left ventricle that is a systematic order or it is not known as a aorta it also have one valve this valve is known as a systemic 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 valve or it is also semi lunar valve i understand very simple heart is very simple and uh, very understandable structure other than that so any doubt up to here no sir ma'am okay so blood vessels are uh, sorry the blood vessels are superior vein first one vein there are two types one is superior vena cava or free cavall vein second one is a inferior vena cava that is post cavall vein lead into the right auricle right auricle to right ventricle right ventricle to another blood vessel pulmonary artery then lungs lungs from to the heart pulmonary veins next one left auricle left auricle to left ventricle left ventricle to systematic aorta or aorta okay na so then what this is the blood vessel present in the heart if it is present if it is it is the some blood vessels are coming from the body and some are moving from the body to sorry heart to body then what are the valves present in it mainly it is the chambers chambers blood vessels and valves so now semi lunar valve present in between the supi it is it is a right auricle and right auricle and vena cava okay so next 
In between the right auricle and right ventricle, we have another wall that is tricuspid wall, second wall. Next right ventricle to pulmonary artery, pulmonary wall. From pulmonary artery to left auricle, also another pulmonary wall. So left auricle to left ventricle, we have tricuspid wall. And uh, left auricle, left ventricle to systematic heart, so systematic wall. Systematic wall. So these are the walls, very important. What is the importance of walls? The walls can prevent the back flow of the blood. One side, one way walls are done with Okay, walls are, it can get only one way. It can allow blood in one way. It cannot allow back flow. Are you understood up to here? Yes, so don't forget, chambers, then blood vessels, heart. These three big parts. And what are the subtopics or sub things are there in the heart? You must learn. It is very important and very beautiful structure. Are you understand?